Wait, hold up. Ah, that's interesting. What? She has four health? I just noticed that. That's kind of broke. Guys, you know how insanely hyped I am for the upcoming Cuphead DLC, the delicious last course. So hyped that we just recently, very recently, played the whole entirety of the original Cuphead on the channel. If you guys haven't seen that, by the way, definitely check that out after this video. But yeah, we're going to look at basically the first look of the Cuphead DLC, the delicious last course, and get a little taste of what the heck to expect. So yeah, let's jump and get to it. Is that the new title screen? <laughs> what? Is that how it plays out? No way. No way. Look how gorgeous this already looks. Look at the sun in the background. Not quite the sun from Teletubbies, but still cute. The delicious last course. Who is that guy right there? You looking like a clock? Is he some kind of time lord? There's no Miss Chalice. Where's she at? Is she encountered? Like, once they go to the island? Hey, look at this. Look at that new little cat. Hey, this looks so gorgeous, of course. Of course. Holy heck. Dang, just walking around this new place is gonna be great. Who the heck is that cat just called? Why not talk to the people at least? Come on. There's a ghost. Looks like one of the ghosts from like the temples where you get the specials. Oh, oh no. that's, that's, a, that's a plane stage. Oh. We're getting teased majorly. We're getting majorly teased. I'm guessing that's where you fight because there's been a reveal of like the snow boss. That's probably where that is. Holy heck. Hey, who are you three right now? Are we gonna have a chit chat? No, so much teases. It's like all these courses have already been complete. What's going on? Pork grinds? Okay, are we gonna see some of the new weapons? I know there's like this weird spread shot thing, crack shot. Straight shot with good damage breaks into weaker something. So I need to go back and read that. Breaks into weaker aim projectiles. Okay. There's the charge shot, the one I love. And then we got this ring, which seems kind of broke, to be honest. Gaining HP after a certain amount of parries. What the heck? Is this the only island, though? Or is there more? He's going straight into it. He's going straight into it. Wait, hold up. What the? Okay. Okay, there's the wizard guy. He changed into Miss Chalice. I think I heard something about this cookie thing. So is it like a charm? I, I think it might be. That's very interesting. So Miss Chalice isn't pickable like Mugman and Cuphead unless you use like a charm. That's kind of weird. It's like a transformation. That's so strange. Very interesting. So you have to choose either Cup Cuphead or Mugman. And then, like I said, probably put on this charm or something. He like ate a cookie. I guess that's what the chef baker makes, like this cookie or something, I don't know. And then yeah, once you start the battle, once you start the fight, once you start the level, you become Miss Chalice here. And she has this whole new dodge roll, that's crazy. And she's completely invincible too, so she has double jump, two jumps, and a dodge roll with invincibility frames. That's kind of broke. The animations, man, they have gone all out. They've gone all out. I think I heard something like they've treated every boss like a last boss or a final boss. Something like that. So they've gone all in. They have. Hey, those platforms. I guess we climbing. We climbing. Okay, so this wizard dude, he can transform into all sorts of snowy things. He's turning into a flake. He was just a fridge. He was just a snowman. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Will the practice of the original game, though, help us? the DLC. That's what I'm kind of hoping. I'm hoping that our recent completion of the full original game will get us all like loose and warmed up for this, you know? Give us that little edge, but like I said, we'll most likely get humbled. This person here making it look kind of easy. They are in one health, but Miss Chalice! She's got the power here. She's got the determination. Hey, Look at that. Clean. Absolutely cleaned. Dang. And the icy guy got some kind of cold or something. The irony, man. I wonder if she has any downfalls, though. It doesn't seem like it so far. Maybe she's weaker. Maybe she does less damage. There's got to be something, because she's got an invincibility roll by the looks of it. Double jump. Yeah, that's weird, man. We need to learn about that. There is other videos on this, which I will check out. But I really wanted to get into the meat here for the first video. This whole uh, overworld and look at the gameplay. Will we see any other boss? There's the Time Lord guy. He's going straight back to the first aisle. Yeah. See, yeah, Cookie Charm. It's right there. He's finally gone into it. Okay, there's the Cookie Charm. What does it say? Go on to it. Definitely something about, of course, becoming Miss Chalice. Like, it's so obvious. 
<laughs> Why am I even going on about it? It's obvious. <laughs> Hey, this is this is this is something I'm very interested in actually. Like how Miss Towers will fare against the original bosses. Like will she just rinse them? Or again, does she have some kind of downsides to where she's not completely overpowered? I'm sure they've balanced it in some way. I'm sure they have. Unless Miss Talis really is some kind of easy mode, you know. If someone really thought Cuphead was too difficult, which there is many people because it is a very challenging game. Miss Chalice is there to, to help those more novice players, those beginners. That crack shot looks insane though. Her special looks crazy. You gotta get close though. You do have to get close, so that probably does make it a little stronger than say uh, the milkshake move or something. The milky cannon as we called it. She is going for these bosses really well. She has four health? I just noticed that. Maybe she is really like a novice character, you know? Helps the beginners out or something. Dang. Using the home in there? I think that is the regular home and you get in the regular game. I don't think that's a new weapon there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I never really used it, so I'm not actually that accustomed to it. I don't even really know. My strategy was just, if you guys saw our video, start with the pea shooter as you have to, then go into the spread, and then get in the charge shot. That is my go-to strategy in the game. That's my go-to weapons. Miss Chalice making this boss look like nothing, though. Absolutely nothing. What difficulty did they go on? I think they went on regular. I don't remember the first phase using the uh, Fireflies and the Adorkins at the same time. I think they did it separately. So definitely regular mode, but still absolutely clean. But it did feel like she was doing less damage. It did feel a little longer than say if you were just Mugman or Cuphead. Is that just me? Two minutes 23. I feel like, yeah, it could have been done much faster, but it's not like she used the most powerful weapons. She did use the home in there, and that crack shot probably isn't as strong as I thought it was. Dang. Hey, we've got even more. So this should give us a lot more context here. We have come at the delicious last course, every cutscene. Is it actually every single cutscene? I doubt it probably uh, the more introductionary cutscene stuff like that, but I could be completely wrong here. Anyway, let's shut up and get into it. The delicious last course. We've got that Time Lord dude, which I still don't know a whole lot about. Hey, we got loads of text just passing real fast here. Let's actually go back and give it a little read here. Goss Cuphead, I don't know. I hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. So they're probably talking about Miss Chalice here. Maybe they went to the next island to chase her. Something like that. Maybe something was said about her. So yeah, they're going on the look for her. And there she is. I don't know why she looks like that though. She looks like her younger self, but in ghost form. I thought her ghost form looked a lot older. A lot more mature looking. But she looks like she does when she's alive, which is kind of weird. Why does she look like that now? Did they completely wreck on her appearance? I don't know, that's kind of weird. Maybe that's explained, I don't know. She's holding that cookie there though, that charm thing that we saw that makes you turn into Miss Chalice. Jumping jelly beans, you boys made it. I have the most amazing news. Interesting. Okay, giving them the cookie, and he eats it like these boys have not learned. Like, don't deal with the devil, don't deal with Miss Chalice. Like, you can't trust anyone. You cannot trust anyone, man. What is wrong with them? They don't learn a thing, do they? They don't learn a thing. First gambling and now drugs. It worked, it really worked. I'm alive again, so yeah. Okay, the whole cookie thing is how Miss Chalice becomes real somehow, and then you're able to play as her. Okay, and that's probably a charm you get from the get-go once you, uh, you know, pass these cutscenes and start on the island, the DLC island. That's real cool. Love the cutscenes here. Nicely animated. Oh, they said something there. That went by super quick. It worked. It really worked. I'm alive again. What does Mugman have to say about this? I don't want to miss it. But now I'm a ghost. He got pranked. He got punked. <laughs> What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy turvy. They're just chasing her now. Are they angry at her? They probably are, but they don't really seem like it at the same time. For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing worked. So somehow, some way she died. She's never wanted to stay dead. She's been trying ways to become alive again. Chef Salt Baker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Can this guy be trusted? Again, anything in Cuphead, can it be trusted? As we know, not really. So <laughs> I wonder if he's somehow the last boss or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, Miss Chalice, I see my cookie has worked wonders on you. Like, what the heck? This guy can just revive people? Turn ghosts back, back to the living? So weird. So weird. Oh, my stars! 
wait, hold up, it's temporary. It's temporary. Yep, it's temporary. I'm a ghost again. So it doesn't last long. Oh my, a finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Okay. This wonder tart could bring Charles back to life for good. No swapping places or nothing. Oh, are they trying to get ingredients? So that's why they're going all around the island. That's probably the story here. Ah, that's interesting. That's probably what it is. He's given them the recipe for this wonder tart. So that's probably why, like I just said, they're going around uh, boss to boss to get ingredients and stuff like that. I don't know why the bosses are just so genocidal and murderous and want to gun down for our balls. It's not like we're trying to get their souls or anything. We just want the ingredients. Yeah, that's yet to be explained. So, uh, 